or two. All right. This is actually a good one. I like this one. Cloud Steed is actually pretty. We may see this a lot of times. Spargo Aqua being the prime example of what the set of the matchup looks like. But uh, I like seeing it from a different perspective, different different level of play. So maybe these two might give us a little bit of a treat. Sometimes different players mm -hmm. give you kind of different spices when it comes to uh, how they play the game. Excited to see how this plays out too. Coming in from Texas versus Rockman. Steve Flair. So many Steves that we have in this bracket. <laughs> Also nice to see how that's going to fare out by the end of today. All right, as we get right into it. Game one, going to PS2 here. And let's see how this goes. Um, so Rockman, of course, a lot of people have known him for being the Steve guy on Twitter, getting all the nice clips, all the nice tech. And it's going to come down to seeing how he does against Cloud, and he's going to take him for a trip oh. across place Pokemon Stadium 2. Huh, we don't even need the audio. It's all good. The is <laughs> coming into play. Already at 95% is crazy, oh. but he's got that limit ready, sending him to the depths. Rockman is able to recover. Nice little shim shade in his way to that ledge. All right, using up that limit too, getting a nice blade here. It's got the damage here. Rockman trying to make himself back to stage. Great parry there from Nico, making himself present. All right, hopefully production gets that audio soft for y'all soon. Instead, we got <laughs> Smash ASMR instead. The backers coming in to swoop right underneath that platform. Okay, yeah, ooh, barely missing the landing there on that nair right there, but doesn't get a back air. Now forcing Rockman to have a recover at ledge. And the limit is back again, so free recovery here for Nico, but he's gonna at least wanna try and get the stock and not have to use the limit. Like the patience at least coming in from Nico, but oof, trying to go for the up out of shield. Oh, and okay. all right, I guess we are back. <laughs> <laughs> he's able to get that first stock. All right, good stuff there. Nico on the board here. Looking pretty good, very patient, especially you don't want to get too in on Steve. Holding that stick in is going to cause you more than just physical, possible mental damage as well. <laughs> <laughs> Character can do a lot of things to some people. I've seen the Twitter, I've seen the tweets, man. You guys. Uh, you don't want to be part of that? Yeah, you don't want to be a part of that, man. And it doesn't look like he is going to be part of it. Oh, my. He knew he was going to use my cart right there, too. I mean, in perfect situation, but the blade beam is not going to connect as he's going to be able to brisk his way right on top of it. Going down the center stage, yep. Has a wall there. Has a setup potentially waiting for him. But just being super patient behind this neutral right here. Oh, nice little stall right there. Oh, but is not able to get the ledge trump. Talking about Nico specifically. At living at 160, avoiding the mine car, but you can't avoid that fire, fire when you're trying to recover. Beautiful DI with the high recovery on top of it. Mm, okay. Oh, just barely not hitting him on the dash attack. And Rockman being able to finally get that first stock and some diamonds. Sheesh. All right, just waiting, tries to get the back air. Some of these empty hops is trying to space himself in between Nico and Rockman. Nice little parry, though. Oh. He has the diamond in hand. Oh, and this is going to be very scary. Oh, but not getting the next up, up tilt. And that actually almost sending Rockman off the stage. Yes, it is. 154, or 154, yeah. And he's able to get the scoop up, has limit ready. He's able to craft the diamond for free after coming in from the heaven platform. Tries to scoop him up with the up air as he tech rolls on top of the platform. Trying to catch him a little bit with the minecart movement there. Not quite going to do much about that, though. Got him on the platform. Dropped down. A couple hits here and there coming out from Rockman. There you go. Nice up B. Get the pressure going. I just really like the way that Nico has been taking advantage of the cloud, uh, like, space with his sword. I mean, at 111. Give him some extra space so that way he could get some extra mats here, too. Forcing him to jump over those blocks. But with the down air, it scoops him up from right underneath the platform. Okay, nice short hop, empty hop into a grab. Got Rockman <laughs> off the stage. I, he just built a platform for himself. <laughs> Create his own makeshift shield. We're actually playing on a triplat stage for all we know. Oh, get the dash attack. Rockman off stage. Oh, just oh, barely wow. missing that back air. And a nice little stall there too, though, from Rockman. This matchup just looking so volatile. Yep. Okay, got him at ledge. Rockman just hoping to get something. He does find a back air there. Hold on. Steve can still bring this back, especially with multiple diamonds on his side. But <laughs> that's why. That's you, why. <laughs> you got to stay a little not too close to that cloud. Oh, there. that's why. Yep. Buster Sword just snaking its way right through the blocks, tearing down the house. I don't know if production knows that we do not have audio, by the way, right now for the game. No audio for the game. I just told them, y'all. Don't worry. Thank you so much for your patience. Hopefully they get that solved very soon. Yeah, hopefully. Oh. Going into game two here, uh, as we wait for game audio to come back, we got PS2 run back here. So 
Obviously, Nico been doing a pretty good job, just kind of you know getting the good spacing tools. Nice confirms there too, just kind of giving Rockman a little bit of a hard time. It's not going to be as easy as it's going to be. You know, Steve is kind of a, a strong character, but you know it's got some characters like Cloud. <laughs> kind of give him a hard time. And look at that right off the rip. Now that we finally have the screen full up, my card's gonna be able to catch his tech roll in. Nice. Okay. The limit on there. Oh, gets a down air. Spikes him down. Not going to get too much of a follow-up. Just what? barely missing the finishing touch. <laughs> Giving him a quick haircut. A little bit. Sneaks okay. in with that back air. Catches him once again on that market mine cart. But he's been spacing himself, expecting it horizontally. And oh. then finally with that first stock, he claims it with down smash by the ledge. Looked like a little bit of a late reaction, too, from Rockman. Had all the time in the world to maybe get out of there. But still clean kills right there from Nico. Still playing in the ASMR oh. universe with that fair, just telling us enough. Doesn't even need the audio. And Nico is putting a rain down on Rockman. And even with that back, they're not going to quite kill, especially without even, not even getting on the gold either. Harry. Oh, okay. Harry into the down tilt. He closes in the gap into the up B. He's got those platforms there for insurance too, so he could go for the reset immediately right after using that up B. Does it set their stage this time around? Yeah, me. Okay, got him down from the, from the from that little block he built there. Trying to get in. Oh, yeah, gets caught with the amble. That will be one stock, though. So, you know, Rockman mm -hmm. on the board there. He's got to do a lot more work ahead of him if he wants to make this work. But Steve, got to get one little, nice little up tilt ladder. But Nico's not going to have any of it. This, this matchup, too, even if he tries to approach with the minecart, if it's not the back air that he's been met with, it's the up air, too, if he spaces himself right. Off of the parry, goes for the up B, tries to go for the up smash, but the anvil is going to meet him on the way down. Okay, yep, just a lot of hits. It's getting canceled out by Steve swinging away. Got him on stage. Give him some space, trying to get the mats that he needs, but with oh. the limit and the up B out of his shield. Beautiful off the parry. Nice stuff from Nico. Honestly, yeah, kind of, kind of being a little uh, aggressive here on Rockman. And, you know, kind of having a little bit of a struggle trying to deal with Nico. His spacing has been nothing but superb. Actually giving Rockman a little bit of a hard time. Hopefully the sound was uh, at least picture you guys, not on our end, but it's all good here. Getting to see how difficult of a matchup this has been, at least when it comes to that Buster Sword of the length, when it comes to navigating through those blocks, but also catching him on his landing, which could be difficult sometimes when you have to worry about the anvil, but he's been spacing himself around, not just the minecart, but stopping him from even getting to center stage. Absolutely. And we're going to see if maybe a different stage pick may be required for Rockman. You know, PS2, as much as we love that stage and would love to run it back, we need to see a change because this is your bracket life, sir. You need to really think about this counter pick yes. carefully. Talking about it, this is loser's bracket, by the way, guys. Loser's qualifiers into top 64. So I would really like to see if Rockman is thinking, is pondering, thinking heavily. Probably Nico giving him some stage bans and a small battlefield. All right, we're going to get a little change of, change of environment. But we still got the buy plat here. We're going to run it here, game three. Rockman's got any answer for this cloud as, as great as it's been today. We're going to see maybe Rockman can put one on the board here. No clips allowed, it looks like. That's what Nico's saying here. At least the way that he's been opening up, sitting at match point 2-0 so far. Ready with a quick 40%, by the way, in climbing. I want to be on Rockman's Twitter later on saying, look what I did today. Time for the Steve to learn this too. <laughs> <laughs> Time for you to get a taste of your own medicine. Yeah, exactly. Take this. Oh, man, but ha -ha, oh. welcome to the roller coaster. 94%. Climbing now here too. Tries to catch the landing with the blade beam. Nice little answer from Rockman here, but going to send him to the depths with the up B going all the way down. Gets caught with the anvil. Does it again this time. Get off of my ledge. Oh, and he gets a dash <laughs> attack on the missed tech too. And Rockman out of here on that first dog. And Nico still wants more with Limit back again already. Uh-oh. This is going to be bad news. All right. Catches him again. Up tilt. Got the Limit ready. Keeps him in the air. Oh, <laughs> oh, That's what him. I mean. Avoiding the anvil again. He's always prepared to catch it. He's so good on that too, and being able to like spot when Rockman wants to, you know, throw out a move or want to go through a, a landing spot, he's just not allowing him to go anywhere. And, and again, he's doing a really good job. These quick uppies from ledge, kind of forcing Rockman to kind of have to maybe diff do a different option. And the way that he's also spacing these back airs, the dash attack is not going to be enough to scoop him up, even with this rage. Nice little DI here from Rockman. Tries to force his way back, oh. and that block isn't going to save him. He's going to go right underneath it. 
just literally silver lining through that block to thread the needle. And Nico already looking like he's ready to put Rockman out of his misery in this losing bracket, but not without another amble to the face to maybe walk away as a souvenir. Love the way that Nico's been playing this spacing wise too. Perry comes in from Rockman, has to be able to get the follow up. These platforms have also just really helped out Nico going for a reset. Even switching things up, oh. going right through it, gets the spike briefly, tries to go for the down air, but a nice little shimmy shade recovery from Rockman to get back to the ledge. He's got to do everything he can to keep this stock going. Double forward air, maybe triple. Okay, got him caught on the minecart. Maybe this something game's going to get started here for Rockman. He's getting all these up tilts, he's getting a lot of damage. Not going to get too much though. Off stage, but Limit with Cloud is still kind of scary. You don't know what he wants to do with it. He's trying to prop him up with that down air too by the platform. He's just covering so much space here. Got another block build. Probably want to see maybe a, maybe an up smash call out from some of these blocks that he's building. But oh, great oh, parry. Try to do it again. Okay, got him with the mic guard. Got him off stage. Just waiting here. Love the spacing here from the back air though. The parry comes in. He finally pulls out a diamond. Does he have even the time, though, to craft it? He's got the uh, yep. Yes, he does. Just in the very closest. Oh, he got him off. Oh, but he oh, missed a whiff. No. no way. That was the opportunity right there, especially at 115. Now tries to strike for the back air. Rockman's going to maybe recover from down below. Yeah. Oh, the cross slash coming in, sneaking away, and allowing him to get the 3-0. Time wow, to put this cool. clips away for now. Nico putting Texas on the board and continuing on through the bracket, staying alive for now in this loser side of as he moves on to top 64. No content creation out here for y'all. This is just business. I'm trying to just get as far as I can in this bracket as Nico will continue his bracket life. And hopefully later on in this bracket, he will continue going forward. He's been doing a great job um, nonetheless. Um, let's see. Not sure if we're almost nearing the end of uh, these round two pools potentially.